All right. I'm attempting this on a brand new window manager, so expect bugs. Let's see what we got here. Model view, there's my house. I'm going to... I'm going to bring up another fairly basic scene here. Actually, just this test one. So bring this up. Test, that's perfect. And here... I'm going to try stealing some materials from 3JS. Barrel Golden, what's going on? I got... Well, I'm currently using a brand new window manager. So... Things, I guess, will look a little different. And also stuff might go wrong, but I think I figured out most, most of the stuff. Right, so I got a square here. Now I'm going to translate both of these. So let's put this in a minus one direction. Let's put this one in the plus one direction. Get these there, that's perfect. I'm gonna see how much work it'll be to take another material from 3JS. So, the situation right now is that I can only use bong materials. Basically, this, which is a pretty, a fairly decent material. But I don't know how to make it less shiny. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know lights up well enough, but it's always super shiny to me. So I'm going to try to take what's called a standard material and bring that into Manum, which might prove to be pretty difficult, but I'm going to try it. So first things first, I'm going to add in the the change to the service that will allow getting a material. So I think I have basic and fong. I'm going to try to bring, add another one for standard. Standard material, standard material request. That looks fine. It looks like the requests for these are empty. Great. And in fact, all the materials use the same response. I think all the geometries use the same response too. I just haven't gotten around to um, combining those, but oh well. Okay, so added that to the service. Add this here. And now I'm going to add the function to actually return the shaders associated with the material. So I guess I'll just probably end up instantiating it like that. Then adding these two lights so that it'll have the light properties. And I... That might actually be it. Not, it's not a ton of work. But I'm sure some things went, went wrong, so I'm gonna comment this for now. I'm just gonna console log. 
some things went, went wrong, so I'm gonna comment this for now. I'm just gonna console log. So I don't go too fast. Okay. Gonna restart that server. Copy the code into Python. Um, which I'll stop this running. Like so. And bring this back. Okay. So now, hopefully, I should be able to re I should be able to get a material like um let me just say standard material. Actually I'll do it do it at the top. Up here. And this is gonna be this whole thing. Whatever get material standard. But I'm passing these parameters. I don't know if I actually need them. Even the fong material request doesn't have... Doesn't take any parameters. Here's it. If I go to material.py in the render... So this is what I have. Diffuse and opacity. Okay, so this is gonna first... Wait, where is it getting the shader? I have to look in tutorial utils. I think. Get material. Here it's gonna fetch the material. It's going to turn that one. Once the material is returned... Once it's returned, I'm passing it to the mesh. When is this done? Oh, get after of manwin.opengl name. This is where it calls one of these classes. Okay, so I'm going to need a standard material class. So I have this. And um, I'm not going to do any of this yet. I'll just print the vertex shader and print the fragment shader. If I can get them at all. And then a super class. I won't build I won't try to build the shader in Manum yet. Alright, so I don't think this will work at all. Clear out this config. See what goes wrong. Oh great! It actually printed out the shader. So there's the fragment shader. And the vertex shader is up here somewhere. You can't tell where there where one stops. But that actually was I didn't expect to get that far. But okay. So now compiling the shader was um caused some problems with the fong material. And I think it'll happen with this as well. So maybe what I want to do, let me just print out the vertex shader here. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to compile the shader. Yeah. Yeah, and I've actually seen this error before with the fog material. Okay, but here we have just the vertex shader. Let me see, actually. I'm not even going to try to compile it in Manum. Let me just 
do this. That's actually great because it's printing out the vertex shader to the command line. And I'm going to save that to a file. Um, do this. That's actually great because it's printing out the vertex shader to the command line. And I'm going to save that to a file. Um, so it's manum render shaders. So I, okay, so I have three three basic and three fong. Just gonna make a new directory. For three standard material. And then I'm gonna write that shader into mana render shaders three standard material vert.glsl Okay. And I guess just quit that. And hopefully that wrote it. Pretty standard. Okay, great. So this is here. That shouldn't be there. That shouldn't be there. And then this Python stuff should be here. So I wonder, what are the inputs and outputs to this? Let's take a model, model matrix, model view matrix. Okay, these all make, make perfect sense. Morph targets optionally. What are its outputs? View position and V normal? Just takes position normal UV. That's good. Okay, I'm not totally sure what. Wait, this has to put out. Oh, there's GL position. Okay, I think that's fine. Um. Cool. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna print out the fragment shader just so I have that. this to frag.glsl so do the exact same thing open up the fragment shader and I can actually see the extension line that's causing the problem here okay next thing to do I'm gonna try to load this file Load this shader with just the name. And I'll I'll try to read it from these files, which also won't work, but it'll be easier to test. Um so I think the way to do this is shader. And I can pass a name, I think. I should probably have to know how to use my own API. But I don't. Okay, so here's how you can do that. So I'm going to try to build the shader like this instead of basic using the standard material. Self render context three standard material. Okay. So I expect this to crash. Oh, wasn't trying to do that. Darn. I just messed up my fragment shader.
Okay, it's back. So don't write this to a file. I'm just going to try running this. Okay, extension directive is not allowed in the middle of the shader. Oh, I guess it got through the vertex shader. Didn't have any problems with the vertex shader, but in the fragment shader. Oh, and I guess it got through the vertex shader. Didn't have any problems with the vertex shader, but in the fragment shader. I guess this needs to be here? Or let me look at the... If I look at the fong material... I put it right underneath the version string. Try putting this here. Try that again. And it worked. At least it didn't crash. So that's great. Okay. So now I'm going to need a way to do that in the RPC. I can probably just copy it straight from the fog material, right? Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to copy it straight from the fog material. Which I think means just it's already here. Let me just do this. Then I'll compile it here. Then I'll just print out self dot underscore members. And I think this will print out the inputs to the shader. If I'm lucky. No, that didn't work. Oh, actually, I know why that wouldn't work. Okay, that's actually great. And that's actually interesting. It... Hemisphere lights? Did I have any hemisphere lights here? Oh, wait a second. I think this is reading from the... This is reading from the fog material. Yeah, because I didn't have this fleshed out. Dang, that was a false alarm. Yeah, yeah, that was that was returning a fog material because I have to instantiate the scene, then a standard material. Yeah. Okay, so let me I'll just bring up the inputs to this. Color. Man, there's a bunch of them. Roughness is a float. I'll try just passing it in with nothing, I guess. Once I have an example I can look at. Hmm, they don't. What are the parameters that you can edit here? Roughness, metalness, color, and emissive. Okay, I'm going to try passing it just a color. Okay, and then the point light, then the hemisphere light. Okay, and... I guess I'm going to try just running this. Well, it worked that time, too. Wait, I have to restart the server. So now let's see. And it still worked. Yeah, I get these, I get these inputs. Roughness, metalness. As well as emissive diffusive. Okay, so this is working with a standard material. 
and before I didn't get roughness or metalness. Great, that's perfect. So now I can see if I really needed to do this with the standard material. So I was only testing that with the fog. Yeah, and I do. Okay. I guess I'll refactor that. Testing that with the fog. Yeah, and I do. Okay. I guess I'll refactor that. Something like move. We have extension to start. It's probably fine. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to take in a shader. It's going to do this. It's going to return this. Okay, all these places where it's called fragment shader, I'm going to have to re rename. Okay, so now I'm going to want to say Fragment Shader, move extension to start, it's just this, oh, move this comment here. Okay, that was pretty easy, if it worked. Then I'll do the same thing here. Okay, so if all went well, I should still be to use um, fog materials. And model visualization one. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay, so I can still use fog materials. That's great. And I have the standard material at least compile. And I can print out its members. Aqua Beam, what's going on? Okay, so there are a few variables with standard materials. New theme. I'm using a new window manager. I was, for at least the while that I've been streaming, I was using BSPWM. And the thing with BSPWM is this is just horribly unmaintained. Like, many days ago, I, I guess that's not necessarily too bad, but it was just like not, um, people weren't really committing to it much. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I switched to, now I'm using Sway, which uses Wayland, which is like a new window manager. And this has like, this is like really, really, really maintained. It's a little harder to use, but uh, what are you going to do? And it's not as fancy sometimes. You can't do blur and things. But, got to start somewhere. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, if I want to see all those members, 
Let me say for okay, camera V and this. Is it noticeably better? Um No, not really. It's just different really. In fact, it's a little slower at first because I I wasn't used to things. Um so yeah, so far it's actually not not really better. At least in ways that I notice. Well, there is one pretty cool thing I can do. Um, well, there is one pretty cool thing I can do. Um, like P kill, sway BG. And then I'm going to MPV paper. I can do this. So that's kind of neat. <laughs> but um, I don't know if that makes it better. And I think I could actually do it before. I'm using Arch. By the way. Um, okay, so I'm going to need to find the default values of these. Let's see if I can find that. The way to do that... That's actually why I didn't stream on Friday. Like, there was a bunch of things. To use Sway, you can't use an NVIDIA GPU. And my Linux computer did have a, Lin did have a NVIDIA GPU. I don't. Order an AMD GPU, which is kind of hard to do these days. Um, but I had to do that. And then I got it. And then I had to switch them. You've never heard of Arch? I feel honored that I get to be the person to tell you about Arch. It's basically a really minimal um, Linux OS, and it gets memed a lot <laughs> because it's it's pretty hard to use, and so it has this like cult following of people who feel superior because they use it. But the the draw is that it's really customizable and really minimal. So that's basically Arch. All I know about Ubuntu. That's fair. Yeah, I remember those days. Okay, so model view matrix I'm already passing. This I'm already passing. Normal matrix, view matrix. Is orthographic. Yeah, so I'm doing that. So diffuse, emissive, roughness, mellowness, opacity, light, ambient light color. I wonder... There's no light probe, which is good. Mm. I'm going to try... When I instantiate the standard material, I'm not going to pass anything. And now I think it should tell me all the defaults. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that. Watching a Tetris tournament and listening to this. Dope. I'm honored to be your background noise. Okay, so this is giving me all of the defaults. Eh. Um, and I guess it, the default color is just white, which makes sense. Okay. So I'm just going to go through all of these and try to set them. So is what the graphic will be set by the scene. Diffuse is there. And I guess this is color. Emissive is zero. Okay, so I'm going to say... How have you installed the thing I sent you? Oh, oh, you're talking to Aquabeam. I was about to say it. Hmm... 
How long ago did you start using Linux? <laughs> I started using Linux in high school. Actually, I wanted to get into hacking. And I picked up this book. And this book included a Linux CD. I'm actually going to take a walk down memory lane. Was it? Was it this one? I think it was this one. I think it was this one. And it, yeah, and it included this CD. And the CD was a Linux distro. And while I was trying to install 